It is also watching a uh, potential uh, eruption of a system, which is to our southwest this evening as well, and that's yeah. the one potentially affecting the Twin Cities. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty going on. All a part of this slight risk of severe weather in yellow that includes the metro, that's a level two risk from the Storm Prediction Center. Involved in it, a tornado watch, and it is a big one. Over 40 counties here in Minnesota, all in the big red box. That tornado watch in place until 8 p.m. Your eyes go to this little pink area here in parts of southern and southeastern St. Louis County. Let me take you up there in a minute. That is a confirmed tornado on the ground. This is this is uh, and Randy, I think you called it uh, a, an eruption, more like an explosion here. We're going to talk about flash flooding problems all the way from Duluth, St. Louis County, Lake County, all along the North Shore as these storms continue to run in one big arching bow here all the way from Brainerd to Grand Marais. So first of all, there's St. Louis County, Lake County, all of these big storms tracking right here across the North Shore. Thunder, lightning, some very heavy rain, an inch plus and in winds to 60 miles per hour. Want to slide you down. If you know St. Louis County, this particular part of St. Louis County is fairly rural. We have reports of a tornado touching down in a field away from anything, and that's good news right near Cotton. But the confirmed tornado warning continues to extend here uh, just off to the east of where that tornado touched down. If you're in this portion of St. Louis County, time to put your personal storm plan into effect. Stay away from windows. Get to an interior room. Now, once I expand the view, come back with me all the way from St. Louis County to just north of Brainerd. The severe thunderstorm warning for Cass and Crow Wing counties has been allowed to expire. But again, in the background, all of the green shaded counties, those are all flood watches and flash flood warnings. Now, as Randy pointed out, we're looking to the south for our development. Um, Neurologist Jennifer, Jennifer McDermott and myself, we've been going back and forth and looking at the charts and saying, well, these storms just don't want to develop. But let me pull out a little further here. The storms to the north, they're starting to back develop here, down toward the southwest, keeping in mind that these storms are eventually going to track off to the east. We still look for an arrival of possibly strong storms, greater metro area, as we head toward a p.m. All a part of the tornado watch that is in place until 8 p.m. So watch as we get here forward to the next 12 hours. See this cluster of storms at around 8 o'clock, then off to the south and to the southeast. By midnight, we generally clear the skies. And as we head into the day tomorrow, are you ready for this? How do you feel for a, a, a day without rain? Well, that would be yeah. a rarity. That's something new, isn't it? Strong storms early this evening, a night to stay sky aware. Cooler but dry tomorrow, dry for anything coming down from the sky, but all around us, we will have some moisture problems everywhere, including probability of uh, basement flooding. Storms likely again Thursday, then strong storms likely again Friday into the day on Saturday. So here it is, your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, cloudy but dry. It's town ball tour stop number three for us. Out to piers we go. Thursday, scattered showers return. Friday and Saturday, scattered strong storm possibilities. Another round or two of heavy rain into a mainly cloudy sky Sunday and Monday. Again, the severe weather threat here all the way until 10 p.m. And a new severe thunderstorm warning uh, that is just north of Stearns County. Jennifer, do you have that one? Yeah. Morrison and Todd County. We didn't have our, uh, your microphone. I apologize. So Morrison and Todd County in a new severe thunderstorm warning um, working off to the north and to the northeast. Jennifer, you rock. Um, and that's what's going to happen all night long. It's live TV. Microphones up and down. The greatest crew in the world will take care of you. I'll also be here to bump in and out of programming as the storms continue to develop. So we'll send things back to you, Amy and Randy. Mm -hmm.